Okay guys, so this is gonna be a video on how to upgrade the storage in your Steam Deck. I have a Steam Deck LCD. This is the 256 gigabyte model. As you can see, if I go to storage, you can see this is the 256, 226, whatever. So I've gone ahead and I've moved all my games to my SD card right here. I have a, a 512 in here and I've gone ahead and basically moved everything here all my games onto my SD card just to make it easier. Instead of having to re-download it, I'll just move it from my SD card back onto the storage uh, when, when that time comes. So uh, nice and easy to do. So you see all these things. Let's say this was a game. You can see here it says move content. You just press Y to move it, to decide the destination. So in this case would be the SD card labeled Nick games and you just press move and then it'll move it for you. So that's just one thing I did before uh, changing the drive in here. Instead of having to re-download all my games, they're still gonna be on my SD card. It's gonna be much faster to transfer them back onto this new drive. So very first step, we're gonna power down our Steam Deck. Now really quick, I do have a one terabyte here. Um, the most important thing to note is that this is supposed to be a 2230. You wanna read some reviews and I, I feel really positive about this one. Um, so that's the brand I went with. Other than that, you will need a uh, screwdriver, a 1.0 Phillips, and some sort of spudger, and then an additional micro SD card to re-image the drive, okay? So once this thing is fully shut down, we're gonna go ahead and eject our SD card. Very important, we remove our SD card. That way we don't break it because we cannot open this without removing our SD card. The next step is a safety pr procedure. We're gonna press power and the plus button to go into the BIOS. We're gonna go over here into setup utility. We're gonna go into power. You see battery storage mode, click here. System will, will be powered down if you select yes. Do you want to proceed? Yes. And now it should be in power save mode. So now no matter what, This will not boot up if we accidentally press the power button. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my case, set that off to the side. And now I have the original Steam Deck case here. This is the perfect thing for you because it has those grooves and you can put that right there while we work on the deck, okay? So now we're gonna grab our Phillips head screwdriver. Now I use this from this one kit I picked up on Amazon super cheap super handy and again this is a phillips number one right here okay there are eight screws one two three four five six seven eight okay and then these are long and then these are short okay you'll notice i'm separating the screws so i know which ones are the outside and which ones are the inside obviously those are long and these are short so no big deal. Just be careful not to strip the screws. Okay, now all the screws are out. Now we're gonna take our spudger. Again, I wanna remind everyone, make sure your SD card is not inside your Steam Deck. There should be nothing in the port, okay? And now you just wanna go along one of the sides, either here or here and take your spudger. Okay, it's a bit of a scary sound, <laughs> but yeah. And that should just pop right off. Now I'm gonna clean up like the sides here because I did use this like spudger. So it left a little bit of like a residue. So I'm gonna clean that off before reinstalling this. But just make sure you didn't break anything on it. Looks like we're good. It just makes a little bit of a scary sound. So we're gonna set that off to the side for a second. Now we're finally inside. Okay, so I believe there's just two screws here. Okay, if we zoom in, so if we zoom in, we have a screw down here, and we have a screw up here. Just two screws holding it in place, so we're gonna just get right in there. 
Okay, so you're gonna notice it's a little bit hard to pull off because this one does have this like sticky stuff on it. So just be careful, try not to bend it too much. As you can see, mine's a little bit bent. We're gonna try to bend that back in place. That way we can reinstall the heat shield, okay? And now here's our drive right over here. Um, before we do that, we are gonna disconnect the battery, which is right here. It does have a pull tab, so you can pull it to the right. So I chose to do it a little bit differently. Using the pull tab is not working for me. So what I did was I used the sides of this to pull it. And then once it's a little bit out, I used the pull tab. So now our battery is disconnected and now we can remove the SSD. Here really quick, I'm un unstaticking myself. So I touched a piece of metal over there. And there's just one screw right here. I'm gonna keep that together. And this is gonna pop right out. Oh. And there we go. That's basically it. So now we're gonna grab it. And this little thing right here can slide right out. That is our old 256 uh, SSD. Looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and set that over to the side and get our WD Black open. Okay, and there's our WD Black. Beautiful, one terabyte. Okay, so you're gonna take that heat shield the same way you had it before with this little thing right here. You're gonna put it back and make sure it's slid all the way in till it's flat and flush. And now we're gonna go ahead and reinstall this into our and then push it all the way in and push down. I just want that to be snug. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do reverse operations. I'm just using my fingers, but you can use a pair of tweezers if you want just to get that ribbon, that uh, battery cable to sit flush. And that's pretty good. Now we're going to take our shield. Put it right back where it was. Okay, so we have our uh, heat shield back installed. Okay, as best as we can. It did bend a little bit, but I don't think that's a big deal. Now, one thing I'm gonna do is actually clean up these sides before installing the back plate. The goal here is just to remove that residue. Always routinely touch some metal just to be on the safe side. All right, let's line it up nicely. There you go. Nice and good. All right. That's pretty much it. Okay, guys. So for this next part, we will need our computer uh, where we're going to prepare our micro SD card. Uh, to re-image our new drive, okay? So I'm using this micro SD card. This is probably the easiest way to do it along with an adapter that I can just put into my, my laptop because this thing has a slot. But alternatively, you can use a regular drive with a USB-A to C adapter that you can put into your Steam Deck and boot from into this. Or if you have one of these that's USB-C, that's even better. But I think the micro SD card way is Probably the best in my opinion just because it's already you know it's, it's it's a little bit more easy to use okay so we're gonna basically go to this website this is the steam support uh steam os recovery image okay where it's right here you're just gonna click on it and you're gonna go click on this and go ahead and click download and it's gonna go ahead and start downloading just give that some time i've already done this i have it downloaded already so as soon as this is done downloading you're also going to need a, a program called Rufus, 
this is basically a program that makes it so we can boot from the drive from the micro sd card or the usb whatever you're using so the only you're just going to grab the one that's for your your thing for example i just grabbed the portable whichever latest version and then you can use that okay and again i will leave links in the description below for all this stuff so it's going to be very very simple so the one thing you have to know about the usb or micro sd card it must be minimum of eight gigs i'm pretty sure in today's age you, you should have a, a sd card much bigger than than eight gigs i'm currently using a 32 gig so that's what we're going to be using okay so go ahead and find uh rufus in your downloads go ahead and press yes to launch it and now you're going to go into that specific drive okay make sure you're on the correct one in this case i know it's, this is the one i just wiped so it's labeled d okay you can label it if that's easier for you and then right over here you're just going to click select and click the SteamOS uh, repair image. So you're gonna click open. It's labeled Steam Deck Repair with a date dot image dot bz2. You're just gonna click open, and all you have to do is press start. It's gonna give you a warning. Just press OK, and now let Rufus do its thing. This is gonna take some time. Once that's done, we're gonna take it over to the Steam Deck, and we're gonna boot into the BIOS and boot from the SD card. So when this is done, all you have to do is safely eject the SD card and then take it to the computer or the USB drive if you're using this, okay? Hey guys, so we're basically in the home stretch. Because we put it into that battery save mode, we're gonna basically plug this in. So we basically forgot to put our SD card inside with the thing. Okay. Okay, you're gonna go into your boot manager here, and there it is. We're gonna select this one, and it's gonna boot into it. Okay, so here we see we have a few options. So this was previously known as reimage SteamOS. This is the button you wanna click, wipe device and install SteamOS. This will permanently wipe and reinstall with SteamOS on device. You should destroy all data. Yes. Proceed. Okay. It says re-imaging complete. Choose proceed to reboot now or cancel to stay in repair image. Proceed. And now I should reboot. Now I've already went ahead and put my S my SSD in here. And it's that easy. And now you just install Steam, just like that. Go ahead through this thing and do what you gotta do. All right, guys, so let's have a look at the results. Look at that. One terabyte plus another half terabyte in an SD card. So now I just gotta transfer my games back to my internal drive and I'm good to go.